Do you know what my favourite thing is ever? Like, I get so excited by makeup, and I get so excited by new handbags, but I also get, oh, let me just, oh, I forgot to move something, hold on. I also get so excited when I get a new diary. <laughs> right, this is my 2020 diary. Let me, okay, so I got a, like a tealy minty green, teal, there's no teal about that, a mint green elastic closure for it, which I don't put in, um, you'll understand why as I talk you through it, or unless you've been here before, then you know why. You get a wallet with it that comes free, which I change. Oh, I need to get my diary, let me get you my diary so I can show you everything that I mean. You also get your stickers. Now, I love these stickers, they're so simple, they're so lovely. And this is your sticker sheet okay so it's all color themed you get all your happy birthdays i don't use these i don't use the emojis and i don't use these they don't interest me but my daughter loves them but these ones in the middle love them so i'm looking forward <laughs> to using those now you're ready for the diary reveal but not like it's going to be a massive reveal because you'll know it because it can be on the thumbnail and this is it you are capable of amazing things. Now, I've had this cover before, and I bet you, if you've been with me for a while, like, I'm sure you've had that before, like, twice even. I have. I love it. But over the years of growing with my diaries and things, I'm learning things that I like. So, the things that I like are my Kate Spade. I love my Kate Spade. I am currently searching for a new Kate Spade um, to basically put... I've got a couple of diaries for a few different things. Like, I've got a Bill diary. Um, obviously I've got my YouTube diary and I've got my personal diary. So maybe a YouTube diary is in hand as I have bought a mini. <laughs> so, let me just find a page. I use the um, dividers. Okay, so there's one. Um, I actually cut that one wrong, that's why it's now got, a, I, I think I made it work though, I think I made it work. I put a strip down there and you know, so it's in the middle. That was my March. That one says design the life you love. I also have a May. It says, don't quit your daydream, honey. It looks like this, which I love. I also have a January one that looks like this. It just says, only you can make it happen. So every year, I buy a new diary. I buy a new diary for YouTube and I buy a new diary for other things. <laughs> I have had July written on this one, so this is my July. Now, I will find something to cover that up so that on the back of them all let me just quickly show you so like on the back of that one it's very plain and very simple that's my january one so i can stick sticky notes to it there is method in my madness let me tell you there is definitely method in my madness somewhere i think on the back of my may one my don't quit your daydream i have squares so once again put stickers notes just stick them to it on my March one, that I am obsessed with, it's still pretty. I thought I made the, blue, the glitter work. It looks a bit weird on camera, but it looks all right in real life. On the back, I have a picture of my daughter, which I love. So that's the sort of thing we're with. So obviously I will cut this down accordingly to fit, and I will definitely take off the front, and I'll also take off the back cover, and I'll put a different one down there. I've got them all written out. And eventually, when I've done my whole front diary, I'll take out certain ones and put them into another diary. I'm weird. But anyway, so, let's see if I can find a page with no writing on. Because this year, I have had pre-written my dates. Um, I just fancied it. I really wanted to do a pre-date, so I don't quite know how. I might have to cover them up with some sticky notes or something when I do some plan with me videos. But... Okay, so there's only one thing on this week, so I can cover that up. So this is my inlay. So I've had the little trees at the top. I just thought they were so pretty to look at. And at the bottom, I've had some motivational quotes. I'm calling them motivational quotes. I don't know if that's what they would be. So, like, this one says, the best place is to be together. I love it. There's a different one every single week. And uh, the next one is, be your own kind of beautiful. And I just think they're so lovely that maybe when the week's over, I'll cut them out. And I'll stick them on, like, I'm weird, the back, maybe? You just never know. 
you just never know i might cut them out and stick loads of things on and yeah just make something really pretty out of it but that is my 2020 personal diary and i love it it's so cute i just i wanted the front again because i just love i love it you're capable of amazing things eventually when i do have Obviously, in theory, I only need six, but I haven't used all the backs on all of them. Eventually, when I've got 12 dividers, I will then keep doing the same thing, but I'll take out, like, the back dividers. Like, this one, there's nothing on it. That one will probably come out, and a new one will go in. But I absolutely love it. It is one of my favourite things ever. I have gone from the A5s, and the A5s is my favourite size, in terms of wise, because you can't change the inside layouts. Um... Let me get you in ins. So on the inside you can have like squares on the larger ones and they are beautiful. But I love my Kate Spade that much. I wanted something to fit into her. And once you ripped it out, trim I literally ripped them out, trim them, re-hole punch them, they fit into her beautifully, let me tell you. And yeah, I'm so over the moon with it. So yes, that is my 2020 personal diary. I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. It wasn't an unboxing because, well, I've already taken it out of the packaging, but it was a, like, look through. Um, if you haven't checked them out, it is personalplanner.com. They always give you discount codes for your next one. They are just, it's lovely. You can design everything. You can have your own pictures on the front. You can do whatever you want with it. And I love them. They're not ridiculously overpriced, but considering you, like... <laughs> I can buy an A5 diary from um, a supermarket for about four or five pounds. They're boring. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. They're boring. They don't have little quotes on the inside. You can't put the top at the one. Um, you can't put whatever you want at the top. There's not a lot you can do um, like this one. Um, it just says at the bottom, do the things you love. You don't get that in your diaries. They're not colourful, and you most certainly can't plan and design your own fronts, which is what I love. This one, I believe, is about eight pound, eighteen pounds ninety. Um, they do range right up to the forty pounds mark, uh, but that's for an A4 diary, and I loved it. It was so good. But realistically, I use that for my YouTube work, and it was just too big. So I went back down to an A5 and now I've gone down to the mini. I love the minis because obviously they do fit in my, any, any, any personal size planner. It's not just my Kate Spade, like any personal planner you can make them fit into and I love it. So yes, I'd like to thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Let me know if any of you lot out there have personal planner diaries because they are my favorite to buy ever. Just for the inserts. I obviously, I take them off this and put them into a proper diary, but for inserts, I love it. Please click here to subscribe, click over here to check out one of my latest videos and click down here to see a video that YouTube has selected for you. Thank you so much for watching, take care, I'll see you in a few days with another video and bye bye.